What is going on everybody? It is your boy Nothing But Skills and today we're going to be going over how to unlock all of the new zombie characters that just got released for Xbox and PC. I did do a video of this for each one of these characters about a week ago. I felt that it would be nice for you guys to not have to go through each video. You can go to one video. I'll put timestamps in the description box and in those timestamps you guys can find what character you guys want to unlock. We'll be going over how to unlock the new Gladiator version of Shaw, Scarlet, Diego, and then of course Bruno. So we will have each one of these characters in this video. Before we get into this video, I just want to say thank you guys again for supporting this channel. We're almost at 70,000 subscribers and that is the goal for December. We almost hit 9 million views, which is the goal for December too. So hopefully we can hit it. I just want to say if you guys are new to my channel, first time watching the video, hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell on so when I release a video, you guys get notified. And as always, if you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up. So let's get into our first character. So how do we unlock the character Shaw? Well, we need to find his mission item and his mission item is going to be able to be dropped by any zombie character. You're going to see right here, I'm at the boxing arena and the ritual bowl is the item that we are looking for. Once you get it, clear out the area and then we can inspect it. So I'm going to finish clearing out the area. I'm going to use this knife right here, finish off these last two zombies. I always recommend if you can get a knife, killing these zombies is easy. And now let's inspect the mission item. So if we look at the item, you're going to see for the character mission, it says you need to use five perks. You need to place in the top 30. And then you just have to finish the match with the ritual bowl in your inventory. So using five perks. Some of you guys might mess up here. I did it at first. I was using five perks, but they weren't all active at the same time. So you need to use five perks and have them all active at the same time. So at this point in the game, I have three perks active. I'm going to loot this bag here, see if I can find another perk I can get active. Does he have anything? Well, another player pops up in front of me. I'm going to kill this player. I'm going to come back to this bag just to make sure that he does not have any perks. He has looter, so I'm going to pop looter because looter lasts a long time. And then I need one more perk active, and I'm hoping this guy has it. So now when I loot this bag, we're going to see, of course, he had it. That's why I'd be showing it to you. I'm going to drop an item. I'm going to drop these bandages, pick up this item right here, pop it, and look, we have a check mark. So now that we have a check mark, we just have to place in the top 30. And that's pretty easy. You can camp your way all the way to top 30. You're going to see I'm already in the top 30, but I don't have the check mark. So what's going on, right? So what I would recommend doing, if this happens to you, you get in the top 30. For some reason, there's a glitch right now. What you need to do is drop the hat and then pick it back up. I did this the second time that I got the mission item and I was able to unlock the character. Now all you have to do once you detected. place in the top 30 the is finish the match, die, whatever you need to do. I end up winning the match and I unlock Shaw. So once the screen loads, you're going to get the character unlock screen and then you'll know that you unlock Shaw. It says, I'm not entirely sure where I am. To be honest and this is the gladiator version of Shaw. if you guys don't have this character this is how you unlock if you guys have any questions after watching this video use the comment section down below let's help each other out but let's get into our next character how to unlock the gladiator version of scarlet so how do you unlock the new character scarlet in black ops 4 blackout so the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to one of the areas where zombies spawn and that's going to be the graveyard, that's going to be asylum, that's going to be the lighthouse, that could also be the boxing arena and you can also get them in Nuketown now. If you guys are looking for places to find these zombies, you guys need to go to one of those places. To get Scarlet's mission item, you need to kill these zombies and these zombies will randomly drop her mission item. So once you kill enough zombies, it will drop, but remember these zombies have a chance of dropping a lot of the mission items, so that's what you have to be on the lookout. You might not always get it. So the mission item you want is this steel bracer, and this is gonna be the item that you see her wearing, right? So once you pick up the item, you're gonna go check out that item. And what it says you need to do is you need to open a supply drop, and then you just need to finish the match with the steel bracer in your inventory. So it's pretty easy, right? The only thing is if you get this kind of late and you're not near a supply drop and someone kills you in the back, it can kind of frustrate you. So what I did here is I knew the circle was closing in, so I got a little bit closer to the middle of the circle, and that way I can make my move. So at this point, you guys already see I'm really close to the supply drop. A tip, don't rush these supply drops. Give it a second, 
see if you can hear some people. You guys can't hear the sound right now because I wasn't recording with the sound on, which sucked, but I heard a guy to my left, so that's why you see me looking over here, and then I'm gonna go around. He's camping. He was waiting for me to go for that supply drop, so I was able to drop him, and then now I'm rushing for it because I don't want someone to open this up. I wanna be the first one. Even if I just get this and that's it, I don't really care. I just wanted to open up the supply drop, so I open up the supply drop, and then I pick up this Paladin, and then I take off, and then we're gonna check right now to see if I have the check mark. So we're gonna look to see if I have the check mark. We go over to the steel bracer. You're gonna see I have the check mark. Open a supply drop. Now I just have to finish the match with the steel bracer in my inventory. So just make sure you guys don't drop it. Now you can die, you can win. You're gonna see I end up winning. So once the match is complete and then you exit the match, you're gonna get the character unlock screen. And at that screen, it's gonna say Scarlet, hit him where it hurts, hit him again. And that is how you guys unlock the gladiator version of Scarlet. Now let's take a look at how do you unlock the gladiator version of Bruno. So how do you unlock the character Bruno in Black Ops 4 Blackout? The first thing we need to do is find his mission item. So where can we find his mission item? Just like every zombie character, they're located at a zombie location. So I would recommend going to Asylum, the Boxing Arena, the Lighthouse, even Nuketown. Any of those places that have zombies that spawn, that is where you want to be because to unlock this character, you need an item that is only given by zombies. So once you get to one of those locations, I always prefer Asylum because there are two locations that zombies can spawn, either Asylum or at the graveyard right next to it. And if you can get at least one of the spawns, that gives you a chance of getting this item. What you need to do is make sure you kill all the zombies in the area. And once you kill those zombies, you will get access to the mystery box. So just clear out the area. Just be careful if there's other players. I was lucky enough at this time, no one came over here. I opened the mystery box and the item you wanna get is this lion pole drum. Now, once you do find this item, make sure you pick up the ax and make sure you pick up everything that's in there. I would recommend if you guys can find some concussion grenades that would help you out. So if we inspect the item, you're gonna see I'm in solo. So it says kill an enemy with a combat ax. Now, if you're in duels or squads, you need to down the enemy. You don't have to kill him, you just have to down the enemy and then you can just finish him off. Kill an enemy with a combat axe and solos and just finish the match with this in your inventory. So what I would recommend is if you guys can get some concussion grenades, use the concussion grenades once they are stunned and then that's when you throw the combat axe because that is how I ended up doing it. I hit the guy with the concussion grenade and then I finished him off with the combat axe. Then once we inspect the item, you're gonna see I have a green check mark on kill an enemy with the combat axe and now I just have to finish the match. So my tip for you guys is use those concussion grenades to your advantage, try to pick some up. If you can find dead silence, mobility, those perks would actually help you out too because you move a little bit faster and then they also can't hear you so you can sneak up on them. This actually took me a couple times to find this item, but finally on the 10th time, I was able to find the item, I was able to get a combat ax and I was able to unlock this character. Now once the match finishes, you'll get the character unlock screen. Bruno, you will break, everyone does. And this is a gladiator version of Bruno. So if you guys have been looking at how to unlock this character, this is how you do it, guys. Now that we know how to unlock Shaw, Bruno, and Scarlet, let's get into how to unlock this version of Diego. So the first thing we need to do is find his mission item. And the mission item that we're looking for is the Mayan Crest. And to find that, you need to find these little ammo caches that are stashed throughout the map. Now his mission is going to require you to use a knife, so make sure you pick up the knife that's going to be inside those ammo caches. Now remember, with all mission items, you don't have to be the one to find them. If you kill a player that has it, you can complete the mission still. Just make sure that you pick up the crest and you pick up the knife. So if we inspect the item, you're going to see that it says you need to clean up or kill an enemy with a knife and then you need to finish the match with the Mayan crest in your inventory. So it's pretty simple. Just stab somebody, kill them with it and then just finish the match. So either die, win, whatever you need to do, just make sure you finish the match. Just be smart when you guys are going for these knife kills. If someone's fighting somebody, that might be a good time, like you saw in this video. I just snuck up behind him, was able to kill him. He was in the middle of a gun battle. If we inspect the item, this is how I unlocked it. I ended up killing that guy right there. We look at it, I have a check. Now I just have to finish the match. Just take your time when you're going for these kills. Sneak up on somebody. They might not even be looking. If you have dead silence, that works really good. But you can see I just got two knife kills right there back to back and they had no idea. Now if you want to play it a little bit more safe, you can just hide in a room. Just wait for somebody to come towards you and then hopefully they end up opening the door and then you surprise them with a knife. 
So once you finish the match, the match will load, right? So that is when you're gonna see that you unlock the character, you're gonna get your merit report, and then you'll get the character unlock screen that says Diego, you have heard the stories, meet the inspiration, and then you'll look at the new Diego character you have, the gladiator version of him. So if you guys have any questions on how to unlock Diego, not everybody, it is your boy Nothing But Skills, and today we're gonna be going over how to unlock all of the new zombie characters that just got released for Xbox and PC. I did do a video of this for each one of these characters about a week ago. I felt that it would be nice for you guys to not have to go through each video. You can go to one video, I'll put timestamps in the description box, and in those timestamps you guys can find what